Hello everybody. Okay, uh, this is a quick update on the build-up of the Figuera um, development method two close core on a two uh, modules. Okay, so I already got the the people from the water jet to cut it for me roughly I still gotta go it's not clean as you can see the it's got some imperfections so I have to drill holes make threads and you know it's they are half inch and I'm gonna post a diagram as along with a, a DWG file which is the AutoCAD file that you can download it and give it to your machine shop or water jet that they can input it in the machine and they can cut it for you you're saving a lot of money because this is the artwork and basically actually this costs more than doing the the actual labor on the machine the machine once that you put this software in the on the software you put the file you just got to program it how many pieces you want and then cut them and you just make uh, your day and the machine keeps working all day for you anyways uh they are total of 16 pieces because i'm gonna have uh you know on 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 the same diagram that i have the elliptical core i still don't know if i'm gonna make it round or elliptical i'm, I'm still gotta finish this because these brackets will help me to bend the laminates and to clamp them and to keep them in place and cut them and um, tag them together and so on. On the electronics, I got order all three, um, you know, the regular typical. This is cheap. It cost me around a couple of dollars each. They're made in China uh, and it's 12 volts and 2 amps. And input is 120 volts. However, I ordered also these uh, nice ones, which are the same thing, but it's a bit much better constructed than uh, this one, but I will give it a test too. I first have to test power and see the, the amperage output and all that. And I got four of these. Uh, so anyway, I'm almost ready. I, I, I still got a lot of hard work to do on metal work and drilling and, and bending and clamping and welding and all that so uh, it's gonna be a little bit I am hesitating about testing on this linear uh, core that I have uh, module I, I am hesitating about doing this we all know what what the results are gonna be with the with the commutator it's gonna be a it's gonna be better I guarantee that because I'm here I'm gonna have a steady over 60 Hertz of uh, speed of frequency and I'm not gonna be having the issues that I used to have with a commutator so this is gonna be a much better but I'm afraid because I don't have uh, a balance uh, a stable resistance wise and inductance wise um, close loop all in serious coils I don't have that here. I have an open circuit with two negatives going in a positive running or two positives running in uh, a negative uh, switching on the sequence. And I'm afraid, and I don't want to mess up the, the, the electronic boards that uh, Campen uh, Alex built with so much love and so much dedication. I don't want to just to test this. I don't want to mess up the electronic boards. I still gonna have to conduct some testing on the boards uh, with the oscilloscope, but that will be later on before I do the testing on, on the actual setup. Um, I got a lot of work, like I'm saying. I, I'm, I, I got this done for me, caught them. Uh, it cost quite a bit, uh, somewhere around $20 per piece to cut it and that includes the materials uh, which is uh, it's just surface rust here but i have to sand it i have to smooth it i have to bezel it, it it's got sharp corners 
and uh, drill holes and align them and, and you know I gotta get this surface uh, smooth so they you know they go like this and well you got the schematics so they clamp and I'm gonna use the vertical stacking which is going to be like this and I'm going to compress the, the laminations and just to keep them in there and uh, bolts, nuts, everything um, so basically I got I, I can mix the electronic work with the heavy work I'm by myself so if I had a guy doing doing all the work work, I, fine, I got him to do it fine, yeah, but I don't. So uh, I'm doing everything by myself. So I have to do all first the rough work, which is, uh, you know, uh, drilling a machine, machining these parts and getting the, the lamination set in place. I first want to set the whole thing and show it to you all once that I have it all bolt on to take it apart and wind it and um, isolate it use uh, I'm gonna use some resin to to go over the laminations to avoid rust and also on these ones I want to paint them after I'm done in in the colors of the of the fixed magnetic fields remember they're always gonna be a north and a south and a north and a south so uh, yeah I want to do that Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching.